Today I'll be doing some benchmarking and overclocking of the T-Mobile G2X. The four programs I'll be using to do these benchmarks are Linpack, Ninamark, Neocore, and Quadrant. I'll be doing four rounds of testing and the specifications of each test will be explained at the time of the test. And to do my overclocking I use custom kernels and I use pimp my CPU to overclock the CPU. Um, that's the only enhancement I, I'm doing. Um, there are other things you can do with the CPU and uh, to enhance the memory um, just for ease of use and simplicity. I'll just be doing the one overclock so I can do um, a quick comparison um, throughout these four tests. So let's get started with the benchmarks. Okay, the first round of benchmarks is going to be running this stock um, Froyo 2.2.2 and a stock kernel. So let's get started with Linpack. And we get 33.722 mega flops. Let's try it again. And we get 36.529 mega flops. Next is Nina Mark. Okay, as you can see, we got 58.1 frames per second. Next benchmark, Neo Core. There you go, we had 75.3 FPS. And our final benchmark for this round will be Quadrant. All right, we got a completely stock score of 24-24. And that will conclude the first round of benchmarks. Okay, the second set of benchmarks is going to be on Froyo 2.2.2 um, with a custom kernel and overclocked to 1.2 gigahertz. This kernel only um, opens up for 1.2, so that's what we're going to test. First is Linpack. First round is 42.969 megaflops. Try it again. 43.984 megaflops. Next is Nina Mark. Okay, in this test we got 64.4 frames per second. Third test is Neo Core. All right, and our result is 80.3 frames per second. Last benchmark for this round is Quadrant. And it looks like our result is 26.89. That concludes the second round of benchmarks. Let's move on to the third round. Okay, this next set of tests is going to be under Cyanogen Mod 7 running Gingerbread 2.3.4 with a stock kernel. First we'll do Linpack. We get 37.392. Uh, next is Nina Mark. Okay, and there we get 55.9 FPS. Next is Neo Core. Okay, you can see we get 79.9 FPS there. 
and finally quadrant. Okay, and we get a score of 23-26. So that concludes this round of benchmarks. Let's move on to the next round. All right, the final round of benchmarks is going to be done in uh, Cyanogen Mod 7, running Gingerbread 2.3.4, and install the custom kernel. And I use pimp my CPU to overclock uh, the processor to 1.4 gigahertz. So let's begin. Here's Linpack. And we get 49.606 mega flops. Let's try it again. 48.347 mega flops. Next is Nina Mark. Alright, and there we see you got 70 frames per second even. Next is Neo Core. There we go. We get 84.2 FPS. Now finally, uh, Quadrant. Okay. There's our score of 29.31. Well, that concludes this round of benchmarks. Actually, uh, that was the final round. And let's compare the results. Alright, as you can see here are the results from the four rounds of benchmark testing. And it's probably most useful to only compare the two blue together and the two uh, orange together just because they weren't overclocked um, to the same amount. There are kernels out there that will do that. Um, I did this just for a quick and easy way um, of showing you it's possible. Um, so anyone who just wants a quick fix and overclock to see what they can do um, they can they can use these um, obviously the 1.4 overclock did the best and you can see um, when if, let's say we talk about quadrant for example the score is 2931 if you take a more in-depth approach um, say tweaking with uh, you know, messing with the memory, removing bloatware, doing other things to um, give your CPU all the power it can get. I've seen scores for Quadrant get up to, you know, 4,000 actually. So, this, this phone does have a lot of potential for power. Another thing to note is, I only showed one test for each of these. Well, two for Linpack, but one for the rest. Um, if we consider Quadrant again, you know, at any given test, um, the score can vary, um, you know, from one to two hundred points, uh, maybe even more. So that's something to think about. Uh, you should run the test, you know, maybe four times to get a good number. Now, one final note to add: um, Cyanogen Mod Seven is still in uh, nightly builds, so you know the drivers aren't quite in tune yet, and actually the interface um, isn't as snappy as the Froyo. But, um, you know, right now you're going to get the best overclocks, um, you know, if you consider the same gigahertz speed, you're going to get the best overclocks in Froyo, just because everything is uh, clean and made how it's supposed to right now. Okay, that concludes the video on quick overclocking of the T-Mobile G2X. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'd be happy to help out as best I can. And I hope this helps you out, and good luck with your future overclocks.